Perfect, we're ready for a split. Every couple of years, bison are rounded up at Elk Island National Park for health purposes. Ultimately, many of them will be shipped out. It's uh, brucellosis and tuberculosis for testing. Brucellosis is done uh, with a blood test as well, so that's already been sent to the lab. Today is just tuberculosis, looking for a reaction, and if we uh, see none, then the animals are good to go. The herd here at Elk Island National Park are wild bison. They're not used to being handled. Some of the older bison have been through the facility. Uh, they are going to be moving them down into what we call um, the, sh the shoot area, so the back alley. And then we're going to be able to start splitting these bison up one by one to go safely through into the squeeze room. So these ones are all young ones, uh, so they're just about coming up on a year of age. But they're a good sized animal, they still weigh around 500 pounds or so. Elk Island Park has long been a major part of both Wood and Plains bison restoration and sustainability. Keith Ahn of the U.S. Wildlife Conservation Society gave a little historical perspective. Between 30 and 60 million bison existed in North America on the Great Plains, almost coast to coast, from the Chihuahuan Desert in Mexico to central Alaska. That number got down to as low as 1,091 in 1889. Once these yearlings clear 60 days of quarantine, many will be relocated in Montana, where the original Elk Island bison came from in 1872. Pretty much all of the uh, plains bison that you find in southern Canada have their origins from here. We've been doing this for 100 years already, and uh, so it's a, a long-term thing. Uh, for today, they're heading to uh, Montana, uh, to the Blackfeet Nation. With Elk Island, they have to get rid of surplus animals on annual or biannual basis. So for us, this is part of linked to our uh, Buffalo Treaty that we had in uh, 2014. And we were looking at potentially 100 individuals, so we'll, we'll be under that. Elk Island maintains herds of 400 wood and 400 plains bison and do similar tests every two years with adult animals, all part of the bigger picture. So many individuals got involved in the 1900s to the 1930s in thinking about uh, a future for bison yet again in North America. This Elk Island lineage is an extremely important lineage in North American conservation. That sometimes includes using a soft touch when controlling these beasts for health testing. And that's how we know that this herd remains uh, and is confirmed as disease free. So we can use it for conservation projects throughout Canada and indeed throughout uh, North America. For Go, I'm Tim Dancy.